was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. something important waiting for me there. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer! You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. You missed your deadline! Damn. You can't stop me! Hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun.
done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. 
I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Let's take a look inside. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? <clears throat> Hello? Anyone here? The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. We'll see if we For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Damn. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Cable goes to that shed over there. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Honey? The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. 